YouTube, this is the program with Team Shockwave, and today I'm here with Rob again. Uh, you guys have been de uh, demanding a lot over the uh, Mass Cure vs. Heraldic match, so um, Rob is actually back from his vacation from Florida to um, do this tech for Bob. <laughs> Sorry it took so long. <laughs> so uh, Rob, um, you want to tell us a little about the uh, deck itself? Uh, the deck is pretty, I really like the deck because uh, with Leo you search everything. Um, also the fact that you can pretty much add material back onto XYZs. And the deck's pretty much a, pretty much a rank 4 spam, so whatever you need to pull out, that's pretty much it. Alright, then uh, let's get started with the deck profile. Alright. Alright, so you start off with uh, 3 Leo. Pretty much he's the heart of the deck. Uh, he searches any heraldic um, monster, and when he's summoned at the end phase, he's a destroyed, and you search one um, heraldic from your um, deck and add it to hand. And the one good thing about him is pretty much he can be a, you know, detach him as an XYZ material, and you still get the search. And also, he's a 2000 beat stick. Uh, then you have Ever Conway. Um, Pretty much, uh, I only run him because like, if my hand's a little low, I need to be able to do something. I can, if I have two engrave, remove um, one, and then I can add one heraldic beast from my graveyard to my hand. And this is probably one of my favorite heraldics. He, uh, Twin-Headed Eagle, um, pretty much you banish him and target two um, heraldic beasts in your graveyard and attach them to an XYZ monster, which really helps because once you run out of materials, it is. <laughs> uh, then I run uh, three Mathematician. Um, the reason I run this is because pretty much uh, first turn, um, you send Leo, get Surge, and when he's destroyed, he's that extra draw. Uh, then I run three Level Warrior. The uh, reason being for this is pretty much he's a Cyber Dragon. He also, when he's special summoned, uh, he's a uh, le level four. And also another reason um, is because when I can normal summon him and also be used with a uh, Mathematician, and I can go for a rank three play. Um, I don't go for rank three plays much at all, but uh, it's always good to have just in case that situation comes up. Uh, then I run two uh, Photon Thrashers, just pretty much the Cyber Dragon effect. <laughs> Uh, then onto the spells, we have uh, Advanced Herald Heraldic Art, uh, pretty much target two Heraldic Beasts in the graveyard, Special Summon, um, and special uh, XYZ Summon from your extra deck. Uh, heraldic uh, Reborn, uh, Special Summon one uh, Heraldic Beast from your grave. Then I run uh, two MSTs, uh, two Lance for protection. Uh, Dark Hole, uh, Book of Moon, Rhoda, and Foolish. Uh, now into the traps, I run two Phoenix Chains, two Wiretaps, uh, two Deep Prisons, and for the singles, uh, Bottomless, Solemn, Torrential, and Compulse. Uh, now onto the extra deck, I run two Exiton, just because the fact that you can pump out Exiton really easy. Um, two uh, 101s, because it's easy. And just the singles, uh, Maestro, Cowboy, Emerald, it's pretty much recycle. When you get um, things in the graveyard, you need to go back to the deck. Uh, Lightning Shidori for situations when I have two Abercrombie on the field, I can make him. Abyss Dweller and pretty much the Heraldic Monte. Um, the one good thing about him is he has no detached effect of his own, but um, his effect is I can um, target one XYZ monster on the uh, field, I believe, um, and he, his effect becomes that effect. And so pretty much when he detaches it, it's for that effect of that monster. Uh, Diamond Dyer, Laval Ball Chain, uh, Black Ship, and Lavier. The reason for Lavier is um, for the times when I actually remove one of the Heraldic Beasts from play for their effects, I can um, get them back on the field, and then I run Downer Magician. The only reason I run this is just mainly for Lavier. I activate the effect, get it back, and overlay over. Hi, um, Rob. Thanks for the deck profile. Um, is there any uh, pros and cons between this deck? Um, the pros and cons of the deck, um, it can go off quick, but when your opponent has answers, it really hurts. I mean, as long as you can get your plays off without being stopped, you're good. At times, that when you do get stopped, it really hurts. Um, just pretty much find a way to play safe and don't overextend, and you should be fine if you decide to play this. Alright, cool. Alright guys, if you are interested in um, Rob and his um, decks, 
uh, and matches he has uh, during his channel. You guys can see it over at his channel, Team Ragnarok. The description will be down there uh, in the description box below. Um, other than that, this is Parker from Team Shockwave with Rob, signing out.